Hi folks, Nathan here with TheEbookReader.com. For this video, I'm going to give you guys a guided tour of the new Kobo uh, Glow HD. This is Kobo's 300 pixel per inch ebook reader. It's got a 6 inch screen, uh, infrared touch screen. Uh, it's got this sort of a plastic front here. It doesn't show fingerprints like some of Cold Kobo's other devices. Uh, the back's got sort of a soft textured coating and it does show fingerprints. Uh, this device, uh, it does not have a micro SD card slot like uh, some of the other Kobo e-readers, but uh, it's just got a reset port and the USB port down there. And then on top it has the power button is up there. So as you can see it's got a little bit of angled edges and it sort of tapers down to where you hold it. Okay, so I already showed the high resolution screen up close in uh, 1080p yesterday in a different video. If you want to see that, check that out. Uh, for this video, I'm going to focus on the software features, show you everything about this device. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the front light next. Okay, so there are a couple of different ways to adjust the front light with the Kobo Glow HD. You can do it via software right here. So there's this little dial, and if you hit these buttons, it'll jump in increments of 10. Um, the side buttons here or you can just like move it down and customize it and if you move your finger off it you can see it a little better um, so you can bring it all the way down if you go all the way to 0% then the uh, light is off okay so another easier way to adjust it is just to use this uh, trick by going up and down the uh, side of the screen here doesn't always work the first try sometimes it activates the highlights or something but uh, that way you can just customize the screen brightness easily and on the fly like that and get like a nice level 4 the lighting conditions that way. I like that feature because then you can fine tune it nice and easily. Uh, I like this front light. It does have a good tone to it. It's uh, pretty evenly distributed across the screen. There are just a few little bit of uh, shadowy areas at the bottom that are visible, but uh, it has a nice white tone to it. There's maybe a subtle bit of, of blue to it as well. So here's a quick look at the text up close with the front light on. It is pretty even. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the software features now. All Kobo's devices are basically the same because they uh, are basically the software is universal across all the devices. So we've got the same, uh, all the same features as uh, the Kobo or H2O and the Kobo Glow before it. Basically, uh, we got this tile layout here on the home screen, so it's kind of different than other e-readers that just list your books. Uh, this lists additional things like there's the web browser, uh, and if you hold on these tiles, you can dismiss them or open. Uh, you can do some different things based on the specific tile and then like so this tile it shows that I have one highlight right there um, for this particular book if you tap on that you can uh, manage your highlights right there from the home screen so it has sort of a different feel than a lot of other devices and then you can jump over to your library view from right here uh, we've got the bookstore link right there and there's some extras uh, so you can just jump into the dictionary from right here if you want to look up a word uh, they also have uh, awards and reading stats uh, I'll talk about that a little bit more when we're showing a book here, and you can of course uh, go and shop for eBooks right directly from the so uh, from the device itself. So uh, the library view it offers some different sorting options. So that home screen there, you're basically uh, stuck with how it is. I mean, you can dismiss the tiles, uh, but with the uh, layout here in the library view, you can just switch over to cover view. Uh, I kind of like this detailed view right here. It shows the percentage and it shows what format and how big the file is. So there are some different settings for that. You got some different sorting options over here by title, author, uh, size, and type. Uh, and then we can also just uh, show different types of uh, books if you want. And you can also create collections. Uh, up here we have like sort of a settings menu and it tells us what the battery and the brightness of the screen is at right now. So uh, you can access that from right there and there's the help menu that uh, you can open to get the user guide and get some other help uh, tips. So. Uh, the settings menu in here. So the device it supports some different languages. These are the languages that it supports right here. You can install some different dictionaries. Um, these are the ones that are pre-installed and you can choose from these other ones as well as what's here on page two. So we got some different options for dictionary support. So in the reading settings menu you've got a few different things. One thing I didn't uh, talk about in any of my other videos is I have this page layout setting in here. Uh, show header and a footer. I can disable and enable that by default. It's enabled. Uh, the, these devices don't have that setting normally. It's a patch that you have to uh, do. You just have to add a little bit of code to the file on this device and you get that option. A lot of people want that setting so I'm surprised it's not a part of the default settings. Uh, anyway, we got some different tap zones you can set, uh, set for up here if you want to customize the tap zones on the screen. You can set the refresh frequency from one to six pages. Um, this pinch to adjust font size isn't working for me right now, but it is an option. You can turn off uh, page numbers with Adobe uh, EPUBs right there. And we got some different options for 
the, the uh, reading progress meter for uh, ebooks. It only works with Kobo's ebooks, uh, key, the, the, the Kobo EPUB. It doesn't work with regular EPUBs. I'll talk about that in a moment here. So that's sort of some of the settings uh, and the beta features here. We just got the web browser. For some reason, none of the games are in here or the sketchpad like on the other devices. I imagine uh, that'll change with the software update. Kobo is always updating the software th with these devices. Uh, this one's running 3.15. Uh, uh, so let's go ahead and open up a book and talk about some of the reading features. Uh, so there's some different things, a lot of different fonts. Uh, and different features so like I was saying before this is a side loaded EPUB so it shows this footer down here now because I had that uh, setting enabled by setting that in the uh, checkbox there so uh, some people don't like it some do so I, I kinda just dis uh, disable it with my books personally but we can keep it there for now uh, so the Kobo devices they have a number of uh, features here we just open it up by tapping in the center of the screen you can access the reading settings from right there as well as the dictionary uh, here's a search. I really do searches, so let's go ahead and do a search. Um, let's see if we can find uh, a word, how fast it takes. So one thing I do know about Kobo's devices is they will limit it to 100. Uh, we got three pages, four pages, it's still going eight pages, so that uh, definitely is a common word in this book. We can go ahead and just jump to where it appears, and then you can use these arrows right here to move forward between uh, like go to the next one where it appears on the next uh, part in the book and then you can just go back to view all results right here and then go ahead and close that out as well so uh, that's how the searching feature works with Kobo's devices uh, another thing I didn't show uh, right there is you can actually choose what to search for through there from the library bookstore or your current read as well so and then it'll also keep your recent searches shown right there so in the font menu uh, we can uh, customize the fonts in a number of ways it comes with like uh, 10 or 11 uh, preloaded fonts here. You can also sideload your own, like th this one it's sideloaded. Uh, but if you use it in EPUBs, the, it renders oddly. Um, see how it is right there, because that default font was just this font, font, but when you use it in EPUBs, it's odd for some reason. But when you use Kobo's fonts, you get these options, uh, these advanced options where you can customize the weight of the font, so you can make it nice and bold. So that's always one advantage that Kobo's devices have over the Kindle, for instance, where you can't customize any of that. Uh, and then you also got a ton of font sizes. There's 48 font sizes um, and a number of line spacing and margin adjustments as well. So there's a whole lot of uh, adjustments that can be made with the, the way you, the look and feel of the book. You can also justify left if you want, if you want to get rid of the uh, spacing between letters. It doesn't always work with specific books. This book is coded not to have it work, so it just sort of depends on the specific book when you have side loaded EPUBs if all these will work so like the line spacing is another one that doesn't work but the margins do work uh, it depends on how the books coded so you can kinda control that with caliber alright so some other things in here for navigating you can come in here I don't know why you turn pages that way but you can but you can also skip chapters just by hitting these double arrows right here skip chapters forward and back on that side uh, we can access the table of contents right here jump through the book that way and as you see, it has that previous location, so you can always go back, which is nice. All right, so we got the usual notes and highlights type of features. When you hold down on a word, uh, we can uh, you can run a search just by highlighting on a word. You can search in book and Wikipedia and on Google. So what this does is it opens up a separate window here, like which basically uh, uses the web browser. And I'm uploading a video right now, so I have like no bandwidth, so it's not going to work. Uh, but you're going to have to take my word for it. It works quite well, actually, that feature. And you can also use it to uh, look up on Google, which uh, opens Google Search. And then you can get, just search for it within the, within the ebook here, so that's pretty cool. Uh, we can share selections on Facebook. Uh, you can put your account in uh, with this device. And then you can also, of course, add the highlights and the text notes. The text notes will pop up a screen right here. You can add text notes with the keyboard. All right, so this is a side-loaded EPUB, right? And you don't have the option... Uh, you don't have all the options that you have with uh, Kobo's ebooks, Kobo's ePubs. Uh, so if you wanted to, you can convert ebooks to Kobo's ePub uh, format. So um, with Kobo's format, we have a few different features here. So um, first off, as you see, you also get a header uh, if you have that uh, full. If you don't have full screen enabled, uh, so you get the header as well with Kobo's ebooks. Uh, page turns are much faster with Kobo's ebooks. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it's much faster. It just goes like folds the page really quickly with Kobo's eBooks. Uh, with the Kobo's books, you also have the reading time estimator right here. So it'll show you the chapters in the book. It'll give sort of like a line to show you how they are 
how long they are in relationship to each other. Uh, you can uh, set these up to show, like if you want to show a percentage instead, uh, but right now it's set up for minutes. It tells you how long it's going to take to read uh, the rest of this book based on your uh, reading speed. So uh, another, some other uh, couple of books, not this one, had Beyond the Book, but they're not, I think they're doing away with that feature because it doesn't work like it used to. So right here's the Beyond the Book feature. Right now it just gives related reading. It used to give uh, some additional information about info in the book, but now it just gives uh, related reading. So uh, there are some different features uh, of, for different types of books. One other little quick detail is you can add bookmarks by tapping up in the right corner there. And then obviously you can uh, remove the bookmark same way and then you can access all your bookmarks and annotations from the annotations list as well as from the home screen. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video review right here. Uh, check out theebookreader.com for a full review I have posted and I also have some other comparison reviews posted as well like between the Kindle Voyage and Glow H2O so or the Aura H2O. Uh, so I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a good day.